Okay, what I want to show you is how I do my roll hem edges. And I use a three thread roll hem on the serger. Uh, I use silky decorative thread, so it's a 40 weight uh, rayon decorative thread on, every, on both loopers and the needle. There's two loopers and a needle in here. The loopers go around the edges of the side of the fabric and the needle one goes straight along the edge. Um, they connect and kind of make a little tiny piped edge. And the first thing I'll do, I'll, se I'll set up, I'll thread my machine, and I'll turn up the tension discs pretty tight. Now it depends on what kind of machine you have, exactly how tight you can do it. But I also test it out. So I have a piece of muslin that I always start on. And although when I get going, um, when I get it close to how I want it, I'm going to switch over to the fabric that I'll be using for whatever project because then you fine tune it according to which fabric you're using. So let's see. Uh, I can put my fabric right under up next to the blade there and I hold on to my little serger string in the back. I always, whenever I cut my my chain at the end there, I leave at least four inches on the back so I have something to grab a hold of. I trim away about a quarter of an inch as I sew and if I'm going a length of like 8 to 20 inches I try to keep it continuous and not start start and stop. If I do need to start and stop I try to do it gradually not all of a sudden stop and then all of a sudden start up again because I really want my little stitches along the edge to be even and they tend to be a little uneven when you stop and start. The other thing I try to do is to hold my fabric down against the bed of the serger. And I try to convince whatever fabric I'm using that it's paper. And I want it to act like paper and that way I'm going to get a very clean uh, edge. If I let my silks bunch up and, and uh, just allow the feed dogs, simply the feed dogs, even though it's deferential feed and they're a great tool, if I just let them pull my fabric through, it doesn't come out as even as it does. If I kind of keep an L shape with my forefinger and thumb around the foot. And then switch over when you get going ways and hold down the front. I just kind of hold my finger on the front of the bed there and hold that fabric flat. come to the end I want to go off the edge at, at least four inches but I also want to leave some on some of the chain stitch on the edge of my fabric because I'll use that to hold on to later I'll show you and that looks pretty good this, this is muslin and it's an easier fabric to work with than some of the silks and if you've just gotten a serger or just trying roll hem for the first time I'd suggest Try, just play with the knobs. Get yourself a piece of muslin and uh, turn up the tension, turn down the tension, turn up the stitch length, uh, turn it down. Try the differential feed at different settings. Um, this is where my knife blade knob is and what that'll do. When I turn this, it makes this blade go out or in. When I'm doing the roll hem, I actually like the blade out a little bit. It really, it doesn't determine how the width of your little stitches. That more has to do with your tension. But I want the blade out so I have something to grab a hold of and roll under a little bit. So when I go and do my seam connections, the little surged edge isn't going to just pull off of the fabric. So let's see, and then I'll compare. Okay, which do I like better? I actually like the less dense one here. I'm going to I'm going to turn it up. I have one and a half on my settings there. So let me try it on uh see I'm doing a garment out of silk chiffon, which is very ethereal. It's hardly like sewing anything at all. Um, so keep in mind what we need to do is to start out 
holding on to the tail here because that's going to be bringing my fabric towards the back here and hold it down as best I can. And there we go, that's a pretty good start. And then I switch over and I hold whatever I can. See the palm of my hand here is holding down the fabric. <laughs> 